This is already broken. Uh, last year, 2022, I made a exhibition in Chicago outside in a small town called Rockford where there's a university and they have a beautiful museum space. And I was invited to make an installation or use the space and what I thought I'd do is base it on a koan that I had found. These are koans are short little narrative pieces used in the tradition of Zen Buddhism to help sharpen one's perceptions. They're often confusing or a little bit full of, um, I don't know, I wouldn't even know what to call them. If you were really Zen, you wouldn't call them anything. The story is that there's an old monk having a conversation with a young monk who in that morning found out he's going to die. He understood he was going to die. And uh, the old monk's trying to help him get used to that idea. And around noon, the old monk looks at his watch and says, how about some lunch? And they go into the refractory and get their food and sit at the table. And the old man's great joy in life was drinking his miso soup from a white porcelain bowl. And the young guy just doesn't give it up. He says, you're going to die, I'm going to die, that bowl will break. Life is a bunch of crap. And the old guy gets finally frustrated enough to say, yes, it's true. You will die and I will die and this bowl will break. But for me, this bowl is already broken. So every day I get to drink my miso soup from this bowl is a blessing. So what we did is we presented 33 uh, bowls. My friend Greg Wentz threw 33 bowls. And another friend of mine, Matt, made 33 plinths for the bowls. And while I was setting the exhibit up in Rockford, the dance department took a liking to what it was and they choreographed the dance for the opening night, which you can see on YouTube under the title Already Broken and My Name. But these are written in pencil and they smudge and that goes along with the idea of the impermanence, which is at the heart of the koan I liked. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the repetition of the story that I put. And another aspect I like about it is you can't sort of, you can't pick it up and read it. You have to walk around it to read it. So it makes it more interesting for a viewer to see. But the show was immensely successful and I'm really proud of the fact that so many other people were involved and that touches on an art movement called social practice where you use as many people as possible, community as possible and you create something moving. Now the best example of that is called Bloom and it was done by a woman named Anna who took over a old 19th century red brick mental facility that was abandoned. And what she did inside it was fill every flat surface with flowers. And she invited back the former patients and doctors and aides to revisit the hospital and see it flooded with beauty. <laughs>